Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this vlog. It's, uh, I think it's Tuesday morning, April 7th. It's about 20 after 6. I'm just up in the office, uh, having some coffee. <laughs> and, uh, kind of bored. <laughs> Gotta go to work today. It's been another busy week for us. Um, Obviously, <clears throat> for everybody that's uh, continuing to have the opportunity to still work, um, whether you're a healthcare worker, grocery, grocery store employee, uh, post office, trucker, um, uh, police officer, fireman, uh, any essential worker that's out there still going to work during these tough times, uh, I want to say thank you to everybody first and foremost. We're, we're doing it. Um, like I've been saying, I, I work. I work for a hospital. Uh, I work for the uh, ambulance service for our hospital. Um, the manager there. So you know, every day you go to work, you worry about your employees. You worry about making sure that they're safe, um, and uh, you know, you worry about your family. Um, my wife works for the same healthcare network. She's an MRI technologist. So. You know, we both go to work every single day, do everything we can to be safe, stay healthy, not get this virus, um, trying to keep ourselves social distance, distanced from other family. Obviously, Easter's coming up, so we, uh, you know, we always look forward to getting together. We're not going to be able to do that this year, as is everybody not going to be able to do that this year. So I just thought I'd say hello this morning, quick short vlog, kind of show you around the wild about hunting office. Um, you know, we don't have a lot of content that we're able to do right now to get out. Uh, I pretty much go to work, <clears throat> and then I come home and uh, I'll catch a workout in. Uh, I got some weights downstairs, a set of Bowflex dumbbells that I can adjust, and, then, and, a, and a fold away bench. So I can get my workouts in doing that, and uh, then going for runs. You are able to go outside um, as long as you're social distancing properly. So I've been getting my runs in um, and or walks uh, and doing the best I can there to keep me busy. So I've been getting some pretty good workouts. And just looking forward to turkey season and uh, fishing season. I think fishing season here starts, well, there's a youth day this weekend for kiddos. Um, and then the next Saturday is uh, the opener. But I think we're going to hold off. We usually love going that opening morning where everybody gets to uh, wait till that 8 o'clock hour till they either fire a gun or you blow a whistle or whatever the case may be and you cast your lines in. It's usually shoulder to shoulder. There's definitely no social distancing going on during that. So, um, yeah, uh, I think we're going to hold off on that. Maybe go later in the day when more people have left the waters and uh, see if we can enjoy a little bit of fishing. But if not, you know, we got to make sure that we stay safe. So I just thought I'd show you around the office. It's a little uh, chaotic organization, if you want to say that. So... <clears throat> I'll show you here. I'm, I'm sitting at the desk right now. This is where I get all the editing done. I've been doing some stuff on social media, responding to some emails that I got that I didn't get a chance to respond to last night. Um, got some batteries and hard drives, stuff there. Got my laptop here, keyboard for the main computer, obviously, right there. Um, got the box from our Venom Red Dot over there still. I got another Tacticam. Picatinny rails for scope mount. Uh, I do have one on the gun. I'll show you that. And then just a bunch of junk. <laughs> uh, big old shelf there. Uh, let's see what do we got going over here. We've got, you know, we got a deer head from many years ago. Big old turkey fan. Again, you've seen that before. That's the big seven. So looking forward to that. But here's the shotgun. This is another big deer. This is. This deer means a lot. This is a big eight point. I shot this on the opening day of rifle season uh, many, many years ago. Um, I think it was the deer season right after we lost my brother Joe. Um, so it was pretty cool sitting in a tree stand all by myself. This big guy came through, put him down one shot. So it's kind of sentimental to me. Um, we just celebrated Joe's birthday this past April 4th, this past Saturday. He would have been 47 years old. So. You know, we miss him dearly, but he's with us on every hunt that we go on. So if you haven't seen the video where I uh, installed the 
vortex venom red dot on the scope. There it is. I mean on the shotgun. There it is. It's on the Picatinny rail. And there is the Tacticam mount for on the Picatinny rail that we're going to put that Tacticam this year right there at my fingertips so I don't have to reach all the way down that barrel when a turkey's coming in. So pretty excited about that. I still got to shoot this and get that uh, get that venom red dot sighted in. Obviously you can tell this is the charging station over here. Charge a lot of batteries. Um, got some shotgun shells. These are choke tubes from Carlson that I changed out my waterfowl and put my turkey choke in. Down here got some scent blocker uh, lightweight gloves and then we got my insights traveler xl got my alps outdoors turkey vest if you haven't seen that video um, where i went over that check it out this is the main camera it's a uh, canon xa20 got a light on here we got a rode ntg1 shotgun mic on it uh, sennheiser wireless uh, mic set up on there and then uh, obviously I love the uh, Manfrotto fluid heads, they work really well. Then we got a VeraZoom Stealth LX uh, remote for it, which helps a lot. Tripod's seen better days, but it still works. But um, one of the videos I shared, we've got the fourth arrow monopod. And I'm going to be taking this fourth arrow fluid head off of here and putting that one on. I just think it's going to work a lot better for me. But this thing's absolutely great. I love that. Um, and then we just got a bunch of stuff kind of lined out here you got the tether uh, predator platform got some cases there got an insights uh, element backpack here got my vortex optics uh, those are the 10 by 42s the Viper HDs got some more caps and stuff here an extra pouch that I can hook into one of the Terry loops on my waist strap got my uh, KL 52 plus this is my predator light for hunting and obviously my Fox Pro Got the uh, wildfire here. Um, we mostly use my brother's shockwave when we're out. Um, phone scope for um, doing a little glass in. Obviously the forked arrow camera arm for in a tree. Got another GoPro. This is an old Hero 3 that I use a lot. Different mounts, head mounts. Some headlamps here. This one's a red one that I use for predator hunting. This is just a regular one. Uh, over here, this is my Canon. Got the DSLR T5i in there with some different lens options and whatnot. And then we got another uh, Element Day Pack there. And the Traveler XXL with tons of gear in it, scent blocker stuff. And I think there's a, uh, a Vision Bow Pack in there from uh, Insights Hunting as well. So if you can't tell, I like Insights Hunting Packs. They're, they're freaking awesome. And then over here, this is the Raptor Razor section of the, the office. I've got my uh, filet mano kit and then this is my kitchen kit with a whole bunch of different stuff. There's my Vortex uh, 1500 range binder right there. Love that thing. If you've ever watched our videos um, or our shows when we were on TV, we always did a Groundhog Day hunt and uh, my brother and I have won the Groundhog competition three years in a row. So this is the Frontiersman Trophy that always goes to the winning team every year. So thankfully we have secured that all three years. Watching a little TV, checking out the local news, seeing how things are going. An old turkey fan there. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope you're doing good. I um, hope you're staying healthy. We are trying our best to stay healthy. It's a crazy time right now. Um, we're trying to, I'm going to work on getting some videos together from maybe many years ago to kind of share some old archive stuff with you all and uh, get a laugh or two out of it. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to say hello this morning in my pajamas, having a cup of coffee before I got to get ready to go to work here. So guys, if you like everything, remember, if you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. I'm going to try to come to you every morning or at least every other morning, just kind of update you how we're doing here with the with the COVID-19 virus. Uh, we're doing well, knock on wood. We're staying healthy. Hopefully you are. Leave us a comment. Let us know how you're all doing with your families down in the uh, comments below. And, um, you know, stay safe, stay healthy. Get outdoors if you can. Enjoy some fresh air. We're, we have a curfew at night here in our hometown and surrounding towns. 
So from 8 p.m. until 6 a.m. every day, uh, nobody's allowed out on the streets. So it's a little crazy times here, but it's all for a good reason. That's flatten that curve, keep everybody healthy. So I'm gonna get going and finish my coffee, finish a little bit of work, and then head to work.